Hey YouTube, I am Dominique and welcome to my channel, Not A Guru 7. Today I will be discussing some super, super cheap fragrances. Um, some will be under $20, so stay tuned because I intend on helping you save some money. discussing today i feel like they are truly truly underrated um uh, because they're really not discussed in the fragrance community uh while some of the others i have they are popular so in no particular order i'll go ahead and get started so first i'm going to grab Soli notes the knee mm. the knee the knee i need you with me <laughs> <laughs> because I absolutely love vanilla and I said this in some of my other videos I don't know how many but I truly love vanilla and I'm not gonna lie to you this is not a super beast mode perfume it doesn't have a beast in it at all <laughs> but it gets the job done and it was only $20 from Amazon and it's vanilla all the way through so if you're a vanilla lover you need to go out and grab this um on my clothes it lasts about three to four hours on my skin maybe in an hour and if you want something that's gonna perform a little bit better then you know you may not want to grab this and it may be different for you than it is for me but it doesn't it doesn't hold that long but i still love it and i don't mind taking this bottle with me putting it in my purse and spraying it on me again throughout the day because i love it so okay. Next up, I have Guest Seductive Red. I absolutely love the cherry in this fragrance. Um, cherry is the scent that I just started to grow to love. And I was in the market for a, a new cherry fragrance. So I started with Tom Ford's Cherry Smoke, the travel size, because the untravel size <laughs> was a bit expensive at the time. And I did K. I. Lee's Love Fest Burning Cherry. And it didn't give me the what I was looking for. It didn't give me the mood, the vibe. So I said, let me try this one because it was on Amazon for $22. And to be honest with you, I actually love the cherry in this one better than those two fragrances. Not saying that, that the fragrance overall um, is better than those two because they definitely last longer. That's the only drawback to this one is it doesn't last that long. But it's like the cherry in this one. Uh, it's more stronger cherry and cherry blossom. So if you want a new cherry addition to your fragrance collection, try this one. You will have to reapply it throughout the day, several times a day. <laughs> but I love it anyway. And the bottle is so cute. And I'm not really focused on bottles, but I just wanted to point out how cute it was. <laughs> I don't know why I want to keep calling it sweet as sugar. <laughs> I kept calling it in my very first YouTube video, but I love this fragrance. You have the marshmallow, you have the blackberry and the pear, and it is just a whole lot of sweet goodness. And this perfume actually lasts me about six hours on my clothes because I just go ham. I spray it everywhere. I don't feel like it's a beast mode perfume, but it does perform better than the two previous ones that I showed you. Um, and I got this from walmart.com for $29.99. So that's $30. Um, try it if you haven't tried it yet. A lot of people say it's more of a teenage girl type of perfume, but I don't agree with that because sometimes people who are in their 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s want to feel a little flirty. And I think this is the perfect flirty scent. It's probably not something I would wear on a date night, but if I'm out with my girls hanging out, I will spray this on because I don't think you can go wrong with it. It's not going to make you sick, like have a headache. And I think that you really can bear it. So try it. So we had Aqualina's Pink Sugar, and this is the Auto Toilet. I'm not sure if they have an Auto Perfume version or not, but this one performs like a EDP, seriously. Um, you have the red berries, the cotton candy, the caramel. This is just sugar galore, and it lasts a long time. Even if you just spread it on your skin, and if you spread it on your skin and clothes, you're going to smell it the entire day. Um, I bought this from Marshalls for $15, and let me tell you, a little goes a long way with this one, and I normally overspray my fragrances. I won't say overspray, but I want to make sure you smell it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and make sure I smell it. And with this one, you don't need but a few sprays. And I don't hear a lot of people talking about this one lately, but like years prior, people were big on this. I know they have some other flankers, but I haven't tried those yet. This fragrance is just all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> and it's one of my favorites. I've had so many bottles of this fragrance. And to me, I feel like, I feel like it smells luxurious, but playful at the same time. Let me just spray it right quick. Yeah, <laughs> this smells so good. I'm telling you, it does not perform like an EDT. So, so if you're interested in it, go get it because it will get the job done. But not least, I'm going to be talking about Lucky You. I have been buying this fragrance from Walmart for years. I can't even tell you how long I've been purchasing this. And I never hear my favorite fragrance YouTubers talk about this. You guys need to try this. It's the perfect musk, grapefruit, and peony mix. I absolutely adore it, and um, it lasts for a long time. And I, I think that it is a beast mode perfume if you spray enough of it. <laughs> and it's just so amazing. I got this on Walmart.com for $20, I want to say. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel so far. I have 27 subscribers, and that means a lot to a small YouTuber. Um, I have over a 1,000 views so far. And I am excited about that because I feel like that people are checking out the channel. They just may not be subscribing. So if you don't mind, like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good one.